Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to our online class. This is Teacher V speaking of New Vision International School. How are you all today? I hope that you are all fine. All right, so today I'll be teaching you the writing lesson. But first, I want to start our session with this quotation by Aristotle. The roots of education are bitter but the fruit is sweet. Kindly prepare the following materials needed for today's session, your grammar and writing booklet, your pencil along with your eraser, and of course, your English copy book. Are these materials ready? Great job, let's begin. These are your tasks for today. First is to revise the key features in writer's checklist or Writer's Guide of Realistic Story and Composition. And of course, we have to answer the booklet activities. Now let's have a short recap of a realistic story. Can you still remember what a realistic story is? Good job. A realistic story is a made-up story that could happen in real life. And a composition is, it tells about real things or events. Now, later on, we are going to um, differentiate the two, a realistic story and a composition. Now, here are the tables. Here is the table, rather. So we have the topic, the key features, and the writer's guide. So we have here realistic story and composition. So what um, are the difference of these two topics? Okay, so let's start with the realistic story. These are the key features of realistic story. Characters, events, and setting seem real. And characters do things that really can happen in real life. What about composition? These are the key features of composition. It tells about real people or things. And it tells about just one topic. As you can see, a realistic story, of course, it is a story. From the word story. Okay, there, it has characters. It has settings. Um... Of course, there is an author and there is a title, yeah? But for the composition, this is simply means an essay form, wherein you can just um, choose one topic, um, one character, and you can just focus on attributes and facts of a particular topic, okay? Now, let's proceed to the writer's guide or checklist of realistic story. So... Write a story with events that could really happen. Next, make sure your story has a beginning, middle, and end. And make sure any question ends with a question mark. Okay, so that is a realistic story. Again, it is a story. And if it is um, it asks a question, you have to end it with a question mark. While a composition, these are the writer's checklist. First, tell about real wild animals. So, um, it's not necessarily, uh, necessarily wild animal. It can also a pet or a domestic animal. Next one, make sure each sentence tells one idea. So, a composition tells one idea, facts, attributes of your topic. Next, write an exclamatory sentence at the end and say the sentence with strong feeling. So, in this part, if um, you, your sentence has a strong feeling, you have to end it with a question mark. So again, a realistic story, it is a story. It has beginning, it has a title, beginning, middle, and an end. A composition, it has, it's, it focused on main, um, in a particular idea, in, in attributes of, our, of your topic, um, 
what else? It has a strong feeling. Okay, so now, so I have here pictures of um, the story that we um, already discussed and already learned. Okay, so I have here Sam come back, a fox and a kid, and of course, a short um, passage. Now, identify where do you think is um, a realistic story and where is a composition? So what about, let's start with Sam come back and the fox and the kid. What do you think is this? This is an example of a realistic story. Good job. Why? Because it, it, aside from it is happening in real life, it is a story wherein it tells, um, it has a title, beginning, middle, and an end. While on the other hand, it is a composition. It is an, in, a composition in an essay form. Okay? So, now, let's um, answer your booklet. Your kindly bring out your grammar and writing booklet along with your eraser and sharpener. Open it on page 25 to 26. 27 and 28 so we have two um lessons and topics to an to answer let's begin with the realistic story okay in page 25 are you all in this page good job so write a realistic story about a trip you have done use the following um questions to guide you rewrite the question in the story chart there is a story chart after this or at the back of this page you can find the story chart but first before you answer um you have to uh answer first or write your answer in each question so there is a particular um, picture you see in your booklet this is actually your guide for you to um answer the questions so number one question where did you go last week so as you can see in the picture, this is, of course, in a ranch. So I visited a ranch. That's the answer. Next question. Which animals do you see there? Of course, what's this? A sheep and a horse. So I saw some, I saw some farm animals like horse and sheep. Now, Question number three, which animal did you feed? Um, as you can see in the picture, the girl feed the sheep. So I fed the sheep. Next, did you enjoy the ranch? Yes, I enjoyed visiting the ranch. So all these answers, you are going to write them or rewrite them in the story chart at the back of page 25. So it is very easy. Copy and then write them on page 26. Here is the story chart. What is the title of the story? And that is The Ranch. Who are the characters? Of course, I and animals. The setting at the ranch. What is the beginning of the sentence? The last or last week I visited a ranch. What about the middle? I saw some animals like horse and sheep. I fed the sheep. In the end of the story, I enjoyed visiting the ranch. Now, mm, you are going to copy these answers and then write it in your booklet. You can pause the video so that you can copy the words or sentences properly. So once you are done, proceed to the next page, page 27, which is composition. Okay, so write the composition about a cat. Use the following sentences to guide you by choosing the correct answers and then write it in the idea web. All right, okay. In this part, you are going to circle the correct answer and then write it on the line. So the cat is blank pet animal the cat is a small or big pet animal of course a small animal yeah and then write it here small all good number two its teeth are sharp copy right here on the line it has bright eyes and then the cat likes to eat what 
of course fish and then write it on the line so once you are done with this page you are going to copy them and then write it in idea web in page 28 so this is in page 28 rather not page 27 so page 28 so the title is the cat the cat yeah so the idea web has five um boxes but disregard number five because we only have four attributes of what cat can do the first one when you go back to the to page 27 the first um attribute of a cat is a pet animal of course a cat, pet animal what about in number two its teeth are sharp number three it has bright eyes and number four the cat likes to eat fish so you are just going to transfer your answer in page 27 and then transfer it in idea web on page 28 you can pause the video so that you can answer and copy the answers properly all good make sure to write it on the line properly so once you are done don't forget to take a picture of your work and then send it in our whatsapp group Thank you so much for listening. Once again, this is Teacher B. See you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.